MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with the Machine 2.3 update. And I want to show you how recording scene changes works inside of a DAW. I'm using Ableton Live in this one, but it'll work inside of any DAW that allows you to receive MIDI from the plugin. Now, this is a feature that used to work previously and now it's back basically it gives each scene its own MIDI note and then as you change the scenes from your pads or if you just draw on your notes they'll actually trigger the scene so to do this you go right here where it says MIDI scene change I'm gonna put this on MIDI note and then you can put it on whatever MIDI channel you want just for this um, purpose I'm just leaving it on MIDI channel 1 you can see right there so the next thing you want to do inside of Ableton I have a MIDI track I want to receive from machine and I'll choose machine 2 right here for the plug-in for my output I'm gonna send it to machine on track 1 now you can see right here I just have it set to all ends channel 1 I could leave it on all the channels if I wanted to and still receive it but I just did that just for the purpose of this video so you can see if you look at that MIDI track it's actually receiving those MIDI notes so I can go in and just trigger these and it'll record the MIDI data now I have mine set to scene so I don't have to do it you know immediately when I want to change the scene I can just do it a little bit before it'll still record it and do it properly now you can also set it to re-trigger if you want to be able to re-trigger your scenes and kind of record a performance and different things like that but I just want to do it basically just to show you how it actually captures these notes so let's check it out I'm gonna do it I'll just do it into a clip but you can also do it over here in your timeline mode it doesn't really matter which way you want to do it so I just like to record in clips that's just how I record so let's check it out as you can see my mini notes in there and you can see recorded on the proper notes you can see C-2 D-2 whatever so depending on how many scenes you got you get a bunch of different notes but if I were to play this back we'll actually see it change as it goes through these notes so check it out <laughs> you get the idea like I said you don't have to do it synced by the scene you can do it by whatever you want you can set this to one bar you can set it to 16 so you can turn it off so you can just continuously change it whenever you want and um, like I said you can turn this on you can turn retrigger on so that you can retrigger the same scene over and over again just depends on how you want to record your performance but it's really straightforward and for those that like to actually compose inside a machine and then take it into a DAW and you want to get a better way of capturing your performance this is a pretty good way because of course you can go in kind of adjust your MIDI notes you know quantize do all that different stuff then you can track it out or do whatever it is that you want to do so of course like I said this will work in pretty much any DAW that allows you to record MIDI directly from the plug-in track I'm just showing it in Ableton Live in this video of course if you got any questions let me know this is St. Joe MachineTutorials.com peace <laughs>